So, welcome back. It's time to leave the farm and head to town. So, talk to this guy and he will show us away. Tristan says you should take me to the rear gate of Harbor Town. All right. But it's a long, dangerous journey. This island is far from safe, you know. So be prepared. I'm ready. Let's go to Harbor Town. Stay behind me. All right? Follow me. The island is full of dangers. Even this lake down here. Stay on the walkway and you should be safe. Let's move on. Oh, this way, come on. This is it. That way leads to the main gate of Harbour Town. I suggest you don't go down there, though. That will take you to the Warriors of the Order. You want to go to the Monastery to join the Order? Go that way. You don't want that? Don't go there, because they won't give you a choice. Thanks. <coughs> I get the point. Let's go on. All right, we're moving. Follow this path up, you'll end up at the monastery. But the sign will tell you that, right? That's what signs are for. Need me to guide you further? Yes, go on. Come on then. You can all use your honey. We have to move on. You'll have to make your own way to the rear entrance of the town. But it isn't much farther. From here, keep heading south through the narrow corridor. Keep going until you reach a high cliff. Then follow that. It'll take you straight to the town gate. And I can just walk in? One of the town guards will probably be outside the gate. But I'm sure you can find a way to convince the sentry to let you pass. Convince them? How do I do that? If you have enough gold on you, I'm sure that will help persuade him. That's how the old guards seem to work. Corruption is everywhere. I see. Now I need to get back to my grain field. Good luck. bags are important for quests inside town. <clears throat> I'm here to 
Okay, I just. Why are you just chilling there when I just killed his wife? Twins. That's how all those are done. Did I get off track? No. <coughs> Big nasty thing up there. Oh, whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. Not chasing me, is he? I'm just gonna kick your ass even later in the game. He's just feeding the wolf. Start again. There. So 
there's the other gate. And there in a second. I'll check out that one first. <coughs> Looks good. Hey, you. Don't you know it's forbidden to run around outside the town? Are you part of the town guard? That's right. I'm guarding the gate so no one can leave. Shouldn't you stand inside then? Well, I also have to stop people coming in. What if I want to get in? I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. Or would you rather go to the monastery? How much to let me in? Hundred gold coins, but you can't come and go as you like. Once you're in, you're in. You're asking for a lot of gold. Be glad I don't take twice as much to save you from the monastery. But I'm not an asshole. I'm willing to haggle. If you don't have enough gold, you can trade things instead. What are things like in the town? Used to be good, but since Don Esteban left, Inquisition's in charge now. Brought the farmers into town, then sealed the gates. That's the Inquisitor's new law. And Commandant Carlos has everyone who violates the law taken to the monastery. What can you tell me about Commandant Carlos? He's the new boss. He and his Warriors of the Order try to keep law and order. They try? Well, the Don's men don't let them have it all their own way, right? Things are quiet now, but that could change any time. Tell me about Don Esteban. Great man, great man. Most <sighs> people probably think he ran away from the Inquisition, but that's not true. No? No. He set up camp in the swamp to take gold out of the ruins himself. That's what this is all about. Gold. He left a couple of his men here to carry on his business while he gets his share. So the town has divided loyalties. You live here, you've got to choose. Stay loyal to the Don, to our people, or help the swanky bastards from the mainland. Of course, you can just keep your head down, try and keep out of trouble. Trouble finds people. If you say so. I just follow orders, mate. But trust me, you don't want to side with the order. You want to help the Don. And you work for the Don? Me? No. I'm part of the town guard. And all citizens must do what Commandant Carlos says. And you don't like that. You can't cut deals with the warriors of the Order. The Don's men were always open to a good deal. You mean you could buy them off? Call it what you want. A deal is a deal. And everyone was happy. What's going on in the monastery? They say they do training. But everyone knows they enchant people up there. Enchant them? A 
couple of the boys they took her back in town. Before, they didn't take the law seriously. Now they blindly follow the Inquisitor. If that's not enchantment, you explain it. Maybe they changed their minds. You might be able to change my mind with a couple of gold coins, but what the Inquisitor did with them... I'm telling you, he used magic on them. Too risky. Let's trade. Just let me in. I'll let you in, provided you have the gold. Here's your gold. All right, but not a word to anyone about our little deal. Otherwise, we'll both wind up in the monastery. Are you going to let me in? Well, you want to go in uninformed, that's up to you. But here, at least take a town map. Good luck. You'll need it. So we found our intact. We quickly see that things are not really that good here. There's a cow. No, I can do some cow. Hello, farmer. Hello, stranger. What is it you're doing here? I'm one of the lucky ones. The merchant comrade pays me to watch his cows. The others haven't been so lucky, but such is the law of the Inquisitor. In the town, you'll be safe, they said. Safe, maybe. Safe and starving. Spare a coin for a poor farmer. We have nothing to eat. My wife Martha is sick. Here, 25 gold pieces. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Good luck, and don't give up hope. I won't. Thank you. Can I help you? Are you a healer? My wife is so sick, I fear the worst. What's wrong with her? She's feverish. I blame these cursed bloody ruins. Why? How did they make her ill? They came out of the ground right next to my damn farm. Next day, Martha caught this fever, and she's got sicker since then. I don't know what to do. Her only hope is Master Belshaw. Who is Master Belshaw? A mage from the monastery. He spends his time at the Shrine of the Flame, back in the gutters. He cares about poor farmers like us. No one else does. You're new here, right? Leto let you in, huh? Yes, I'm from outside. You're breaking the Inquisitor's new laws. You know that. You should be more careful. You tell the wrong people, you could get yourself in trouble. You've had trouble with the law. Ha! <laughs> the law is just an excuse to lock us all in the town. The Order wants to loot the ruins in peace. Once they've taken the last crumb of gold out of the ruins, they'll let us out again. Don Esteban figured that out right away. Why are you in the town and not in the swamp? Simple. 
The Don doesn't let go of things that belong to him. Some of us are keeping business going here, until the Inquisition move on. What business do you do? Anything that brings gold. Gold's the only way we can challenge the Order and the Warriors, isn't it? Taking the town back is what it's all about. We control the town, we control the island. For now, though, the Inquisitor and Commandant Carlos are in charge. So watch your step. All right. What's the Order doing about the Don's men? They stop us where they can. Since they came here with their fancy white uniforms, they've never taken their eyes off us. They're just waiting for us to step out of line. Then they'll take us to the monastery. Keep your eye out for Sebastian. He's always around, watching. Tell me about Commandant Carlos. He's the Inquisitor's watchdog. His headquarters is in the guardhouse. He sits up there controlling everyone's lives. But it's only a matter of time before he pisses enough people off. Sounds like you could use some help. We could. I have to scrape together a lot of gold for the Don. If I don't send him something soon, if I don't get some gold in, I'll have problems with my own boys. If you help me, I can cut you in for a slice. What are you offering if I do help you? Well, I'll give you gold. And I can teach you a few things too. Give a man a fish, and he'll stink for a day. Give him a rod. You want to teach me to fish? In a manner of speaking. Fish for gold. I can make a pickpocket out of you. Word to the wise. You should look to the Don. Join him before you get swallowed and pissed out by the Order. What can I do? Hmm. Costa the pawnbroker's doing good business here in the gutters. He's preying on the farmers and stuffing his pockets with gold. So, what do you need doing? Since the Order has been here, he hasn't paid his dues to the Don. Hired himself a bodyguard he has, and he pays the Inquisition's taxes. What about the Don's taxes, eh? Where's our slice? Someone needs to make sure we get paid. I'll get your gold. Good. It's time we showed him we're still in charge in the gutters. But it won't be easy. Costa won't pay voluntarily. At least, not now he's got himself a bodyguard. How much does Costa owe? He's caused a lot of trouble. I'd say he owes 300 gold coins for that alone. You can keep half. How should I get the gold from him? I really don't care. If you give him a beating, you can probably just take it. But don't kill him. No point killing the golden goose. And it will get the Inquisition on our backs. But teaching his bodyguard a lesson wouldn't hurt. Is there any advice you can give me? If you just cut loose on Costa, you'll have to take care of him and his bodyguard at the same time. It'd be better to deal with them one by one. Try to provoke them. One at a time. They start the fight, then no one will interfere. You start the fight, you'll have problems with the guards. Wait. I saw you talking to Delgado. Do you deny it? No. And who are you? I am Sebastian, a warrior of the Order of the Holy Flame. And you want to be careful who you get involved with. What do you know about Delgado? He is one of Don Esteban's men. Ruthless, a lot of them. They steal, lie, and extort. Steer clear of them. What are you doing about the Don's people? Inside the town, cornering them like rats in a burrow. Outside the town, the Inquisitor is slowly choking them, starving them with men, with gold, with food. Commandant Carlos will see the town is cleared of the Don's influence, and those left in the swamp will just wither and die. He'll finish to die from the Don. Why don't you just throw the Don's men out of the town? We've tried. They get back in. 
We don't know where or how. So now we'll use that. Finish them where they stand. You'd better decide whose side you're on. You want to be a rat or a rat catcher? Yeah, I think I'll side with the dog. Hey, do you work here? Sure do. If you're looking for somewhere to kip, just go upstairs. Pay Costa after. Isn't it a bit odd to pay afterwards? Don't ask me. I don't bring the business, I just bring the muscle. Why is muscle needed? Costa doesn't want trouble. Trouble with whom? Guests looking for a free kip, or anyone who wants to play silly buggers. You work for Costa? Yeah, got to get gold where you can. Not much to be had down at the harbour. Most ships means no work. So, you're paid muscle? Better than an unpaid muscle. Come on then. I could do with a bit of combat practice. You what? You want to fight me? Here? Yeah, let's go. Sure, why not? Don't have anything better to do. Let's get this over with. Oh. Give them hell. I've got to see this. Yes. Uh, 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 stick the bastard. Uh, yeah, I'm losing. Hey, sure. Pike, isn't it a don't ask what cost of trouble? Guess you, yeah, not much. Most better. Cut. You, yeah, sure. Let's get this over with. Give us blood. <laughs> ah. 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 Come ah. on, you fucking like lettuce. That one a bit better than I think. Do me a favor, mate. And don't let Costa know you can fight like that. Or I'll be out of a job. I don't need to tell him. Or are we gonna have another problem? No. I might be paid for muscle. But that doesn't mean I don't have a brain. I'm Costa. Welcome to my little part of the island. If there's anything you need, anything at all, I can get it. Usually. What do you sell? Weapons, potions, jewelry, scrolls. If you need it, hell, I can even get you a bed. Where do you get your wares? Since there's nothing coming into town, I sell stuff we still got inside. Like what? Times are tough. People have got to find a way to get by. Quite a few folks want to sell their possessions for some solid coin in their hands. So you prey on people's poverty? Hey, no one's forcing them to sell their stuff. If they wish to trade their family heirlooms for a hot meal, I'm the man who helps them. I'm a charitable man, just like Bill Shaw. They'd be sleeping in the gutter without me. Your goods are much too expensive. If you haven't got the gold, then stop hassling me. I can't stand beggars. Anywhere around here I can sleep? It's not a good idea to spend the night in just any old bed. That's asking for trouble. But I have a couple of beds on the upper floor. I don't ask much. Just 30 gold coins. They're safe, peaceful, and you won't wake up with lice in your hair. Hmm. That's how you sold it all the time. I didn't know I could do that. I'm gonna walk back to this guy. 
Here's Costa's gold. Oh, that's great. Let's see. 150 for me. The rest for you. I'll tell Scordo you did good work. Tell me about Scordo. I shouldn't really have mentioned his name. Best not to ask too many questions. That means he's the Don's man here. Where can I find him? Clever one, aren't you? You can't find him. He's in hiding. He'll find you when the time comes. And not another word about him. Neither you nor I know that name. Got it? What do we do now? If you want more work here, you can try to collect from Josh. Not that profitable. But you have to take what you can get. Besides that, keep your ears open. You're bound to pick up on some opportunities. What can you teach me? I'll keep my word. If you want, I'll teach you to be a good thief. I want to be a better thief. Help me improve my day. That's help good. I want to be a better pickpocket. Okay, okay. A skilled thief can take whatever he wants from a mark. But you've got to practice speed and sleight of hand. Move fast, but move soft. Getting your hand in a pocket isn't enough. You've only dipped it when you get your hand out with the goods and not get noticed. If you have time for idleness, I envy you. Please, take a look around. Are you looking for anything special? A pan, cast iron, or a necklace? If you're hungry, we have potatoes. We grow them ourselves. Have a look at everything I offer. That's a lot of different wares for a merchant. I'm not a merchant. I'm a farmer. Was, till the ruins came. Lost my farm. You look like another refugee. Word to the wise. Stay away from Costa. Costa? Who's Costa? He's a swindler. After everything people have lost, he's trying to take the rest. He forces people to sell their goods for less than they're worth, then resells them. Help another refugee, will you? Have a look at my goods, not the stuff he's pushing. Why don't you sell your goods somewhere else? We're not allowed. They won't let us into the merchant's district. The Inquisition talks about law, keeps us here, then lets these scoundrels run things. We don't have enough gold to buy the goods the merchants offer. So the white robes chase us off. For a lot of us, the only thing left is Costa. He's the only one who'll buy. What can you tell me about the town? Well, there are three districts. The gutters here, that's the street above the harbour. Farther down by the water is the harbour district. That stretches from the lighthouse to the warehouses and the prison at the end of the quay. The rich bastards live in the merchant's district. That's where the main gate of the town is. Let me see your goods. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish this video here. So I'll see you guys later.